guys, Starstar here, and I have an unboxing of Geek Fuel. Yes, this is another one of those companies that has geeky stuff in a box that they deliver to you monthly. But um, this one, I actually never heard of it before. I guess they did a Kickstarter, which was successfully funded. So they actually got me one of their first sets to go out. So this is their very first Geek Fuel box which I'm told is going to come with an exclusive shirt that was only for Kickstarter backers. As of right now, Geek Fuel is actually promoting on their website that their boxes start as low as just under $14. But, 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 if you want to get like the $13.90 or $13.70 price point that they say as low as, you actually have to purchase a full year up front. Otherwise, you're looking at about $18 a month plus $6 shipping and handling. But the way that they're different is they incentivize you to get the six month or the one year packages by giving you extra bonus items. So if you sign up for the six months, you're gonna get one bonus item. And if you sign up for the one year, you're gonna get three extra bonus mystery items. And they don't tell you what they are and they don't tell you when you'll get them, but you get them. <laughs> So I'm just gonna hop right in and see what their very first crate has. And we have a Geek Fuel sticker. And, I don't know what this is, a little velvet pouch. The Prince's Bride uh, playing card set. I can't see too many people getting super excited about that. I like the Princess Bride, I thought it was good, but Playing card sets, I don't really know how many people are going to be excited about that. So we have a Pez candy and dispenser Star Wars themed I Got Boba Fett. And we have a Mega Bloks Halo series little miniature figure. Oh my god, it, it's in pieces. No! Oh, it comes in pieces. I don't like this. I have to build it. Why do I have to build it? I'm too lazy for this. So, I got it assembled. It's cute. It's a cute little Halo figure. Um, I don't like that I had to put it together because very tiny little pieces. I was a little bit worried that I would drop them or lose them, but it's cool. And it goes with, I just got a uh, Halo Mega Block minifigure from Loot Crate. We have an Eye of Sauron poster. This is basically, who would put this? I mean, I guess maybe you could put this like in your kitchen, but I don't know who would actually put this poster up. It's basically like cooking instructions. Um, it's interesting. It's an interesting way to do like cooking stuff. Um, but yeah. And we have Armor Hunters number one. This is a, this is a, a cool little comic book and it's um, metallic looking. I don't know if you guys can actually see with the camera and the lighting, but it's uh, really cool metallic looking. And then the last thing that's in the crate is the exclusive t-shirt. What size is this? This is size small. This must be like a men's small. It's pretty big. And I have the limited edition. There's only 300 made and I have number 69. All right, and that's it. For their very first box, I'm not super impressed, especially with about an $18 price point if you're paying month to month. But they did just finish their Kickstarter and they are just starting out. So, I mean, every company has to start somewhere. Uh, they have a long ways to go if they wanna catch up to Nerdblock and Loot Crate. But for their first box, not great, not terrible. Um, it's kind of so-so. I would say just kind of keep an eye on them and see how it goes. Maybe watch some people's unboxings as the months go on and see if it catches your interest at all. If you guys are interested in Geek Fuel, you can go to geekfuel.com and I'm also going to have links to their various websites in the description box below. All right, thank you guys for watching. Bye!